Good morning, students. Today we will start with a new lesson of your supplementary reader snapshot, and the name of the lesson is Mother's Day, written by J. B. Presley. This play brings out the miserable condition of mothers in homes. A mother works from morning till night to satisfy the needs of her husband and children. She cleans. sweeps washes and cooks but she gets no reward or praise for her labors she works like a machine throughout the day but the family members never realize that she too is a human being and needs rest dear children do we really think and take care of our mothers at home if we don't then we all need to be chastised in some way this is what this play is all about and very quickly we will have a look at the prominent characters of this play first one is mrs fizzle she is mrs ann pearson's neighbor she is quite strong willed knows magic and helps mrs ann pearson to reform the spoilt members of a family next important character is mrs annie pearson she is a pleasant but nervous type of woman whose excessive love and care has spoiled her two children and husband doris pearson she is mrs ann pearson's daughter aged around 20 years she fails to understand her mother's struggle and doesn't help her in household work sir pearson he is mrs ann pearson's son who is equally demanding and never sympathizes with his mother last but not the least we have mr george pearson he is mrs ann pearson's proud husband who is not as respected in society as expected he dominates his wife but he is ridiculed in the club where he is a member dear students for your convenience i have subdivided the entire lesson and the first one is introduction of mrs ann pearson and mrs fitzlar mrs ann pearson and mrs fitzlar are next door neighbors apart from this there is no major similarity between them and is a pleasant and nervous looking woman in her 40s however fitzlad is older and heavier with a strong personality and has a soft voice whereas mrs fitzlad has a deep throaty voice mrs fitzlad is a fortune teller she has learned this art from the east she is reading ants fortune she advises ann to be strict and become the boss in her family actually ann is not treated well by her family members at present mrs ann pearson has been reduced to the status of an unpaid domestic servant who does all the work at home without even being requested for it or being thanked later on second subdivision is when mrs fitzlad outlines the plan to reform ann's family mrs fitzlad is very angry at the way ann is treated like a servant by her family one day she suggests that they should temporarily exchange their personalities by using a magic spell that she had learned in the east she takes ants hand and speaks some magic words a transformation takes place and the personality of mrs fitzlad shifts into the body of ann and vice versa ann is scared but mrs fitzlad assures her that the change is reversible mrs fitzlad now in the body of ann stays at ann's house and sends annie 
in Mrs. Fitzalette's body to her house where she can relax. The third major subdivision is when Doris gets a shock. Doris, the daughter of Mrs. Ann Pearson, a beautiful girl is 20, enters the house. She gets shocked at seeing her mother smoking and playing cards alone. Doris asks about her yellow dress, but her mother does not respond. She asks for tea and her mother answers rudely, telling her to iron her dress herself and make tea if she wants to. Doris gets angry but gets a good scolding from her mother. Then Anne makes fun of Doris' boyfriend Charlie Spence for having projecting teeth and being stupid. She tells Doris frankly that at her age she would have found somebody better than Charlie Spence. This, behave, this strange behavior is too much for Doris and she goes out of the room crying. Dear students, in the next subsequent class, we will discuss the other major subdivisions. Till then, thank you.